Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to show you guys how to file your crypto taxes on H&R Block in Canada. So it is very important to actually watch another video, which I will leave down below and in the top right corner, which tells you, uh, shows you how to do your crypto taxes with Coinly. And then at the end of that video, you generate a file, um, which you will need for this video. So if you've seen that, you're good to go. Um, I'm going to assume that for H&R Block, you set up your account, your you know email, your address, all that stuff, and we can proceed from there. So on this page is where you start declaring your uh, investments, your employment expenses, um, self-employment income, all that stuff. So we want to go down here and we want to select investments. So this is where your crypto investments will be. Once you've selected that, you're going to click next. Um, this will depend on your situation. Do you have any claim credits or deductions? Um, that's something you have to click for demo purposes for this to make it easier. I'm going to click continue because I don't have any. And then after that, what we're looking for is the capital gains or losses in 2020, which is a schedule three. So we're going to click that. If you have anything else, obviously select it. Um, so we click continue. Okay. So here we're going to select the type of capital property. So it's going to be virtual currency transactions. Uh, and here is where you're gonna start filling some information that you got from the last video. Okay, we're going to head over to Coinly. We're gonna go into the tax report section and here are the most important values. Um, this is your capital gains and this is your income, which I will explain how to put that into h &R Block as well. Um, but the most important part here is to download this Schedule 3 document, which I already have and I'll show you kind of how it looks like. So it should look something like this. Okay, so what's the face value? What's the maturity date? All these questions are a little bit too basic for most, let's say crypto investors. What we're most interested in here is these, these lines here. So uh, proceeds of disposition. So that is line number two right here. This value, obviously a demo. So it doesn't really mean much in, in this sense, but this is the value you're looking for. What's the adjusted cost base? So that is the one right next to it, number three. What expenses do you have to pay uh, to sell it? So outlays and expenses is line four. I don't have a value here, you might. Uh, and then what's the amount of your 2020 reserve for this capital property? That is where you put in your gain or loss um, right here, this number five. Okay, after that, it'll depend on your situation. If you sold your partnership or, uh, or your interest in a partnership, obviously put that. If you sold eligible small business corporation shares, that's on you. And then we click continue. Okay, so you've reported your capital gains. The next part is to report your other income. So on this tab, you're gonna click other income earned or received in 2020. You're gonna click continue. And we're looking for, let's see, how much income did you earn or receive in 2020 that hasn't been entered um, anywhere else in, uh, in your return? So this is the value. So if we go back to Coinly, this amount, obviously, once again, a demo, I, I'll keep saying it, but it's okay. Um, this is the value. And if you really want to see it um, in the income report, you can download this file. And I've already done that. And this is what it looks like. And these two values should be the same. So you put that value here and you click continue and then all this other stuff really depends on your situation and, and what you want to put i'm going to put no on everything just so we can get through it to show you guys that there's nothing really special or too complicated here and that's it there was a few other smaller questions that are not related to you know how i can assist you it's all situational but that is pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. All the hard all the hard work has already been done by Coinly in actually the previous video. So if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Peace.